water unto repentance. John said, I indeed baptize you with water. Right? Because you know when John came, he was baptizing people in the water, in the Jordan, right? Right? He said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Read on. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Who shoes I am not worthy to bear. So John said, There's somebody that's coming after me. Who is it? Who is coming after uh, John the Baptist? Jesus, right? You know? He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. He, said he was going to baptize them with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So John said, I'll baptize you with water, but the one that come after me, he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. What's, fi what's the fire that, that he's talking about? Right? Read, uh, give me that. We're gonna see what the fire is according to the uh, to the words of the Lord, right? What did what, what did Christ come to uh, uh, baptize the people with? Take precepts, stay diligent. Uh, diligent. The most I build this army, so now we militant. Uh, yeah, how was shy coming like a thief in the night? Uh, gotta stay woke, gotta watch vigilant. Come here, Sharal. 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 Come here, all right, because we come out here week in, week out for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which will make up the 12 tribes of Israel, right? And why we come out here is to wake y'all up, to let y'all know who y'all are in these last days, right? Yeah, 49 and 5, right? We're going to further edify the brother, man, to get him to understand what he got to be doing in these last days, right? We want all our people up here to hear this word, right? right. We want all those that seek learning and that want to know who they are, right, what they got to do in these last days to be up here, right? Bring that up. Chapter 49, verse 5. And now said the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. To do what? To bring Jacob again to him. What are you doing? To bring Jacob again to him. We out here to bring Jacob, which is the 12 tribes of Israel, again back to the Most High, right? Because they lost, right? They're walking up and down St. Louis on Wash Ave, right? On a Saturday, uh, Saturday, right, which is the Sabbath, right, and they just buying and selling, right, breaking up most of our guys' laws and, and, and pissing them off daily, continually, yep. right. Yep. So, uh, give me the book of uh, John, chapter uh, seven, and verse forty-nine. I'm gonna ask you a question, brother. After we read this, seven and forty-nine, John. Book of John, chapter 7, verse 49. But this people who know of not the law. Say what? But this people who know of not the law. So he's he talking about one specific people. He said, This people that don't know the law is what? Are cursed. What? Are cursed. What people live in cursed? Huh? He said us. Right? That's right. Yeah, it's our people, right? Because you look around, go, just go, just go, take a ride in the city and, and look at how our people live. They strung out on drugs. You got old heads in the alleyways, drunk, staggering, uh, walking. You know what I'm saying? People sleep at the bus stops, right? You got gang members and shootouts every night, right? Even in broad daylight, they shooting, right? Hey, that's that's a that's a cursed thing, though, right? If you look on a broad scale, it's every every nation not doing that. That's our people, right? Just, just uh, uh, hating on each other. So he said, these people that don't know the law, they curse, right? Because if you don't know God's law, right? You're not gonna you're not gonna be walking in righteous ways. You're gonna be walking in the ways of the world, and this world wicked, man, right? And they push, they push us to kill each other. We rap about it in the, in the songs, right? Every song. If you ask a brother, if you a ask a brother that's walking down the street, what songs you listen to? He gonna be like, you know, saying NBA Young Boy, Lil Durk. I, and I ask him, I, I ask him this next question: What's one thing you learned from him? They gonna say how to how to how to hit a jug, how to run off on the plug, how to whore out this woman, right? That, that's not profitable for our people, right? The only thing that's profitable for our people is the words of the Lord. Right? Keeping the commandments. Right? Having faith in the Lord. Right? So I'm going to further edify you. The brother was showing these pictures right here. I said, what you think about this, this this guy right here? Who is this guy? This this guy right here. 
Who they said it is? Huh? God? Who told you it was God? You believe it? What made you think that? Well, check this out. Give me, give me the revelation. Okay, you got it. This is the book of Revelations. Chapter 1, verse 14. What's in the Bible? Right, because we're going to read in the Bible what he actually looks like. Right? We're going to see if what you believe is actually in there. Bring it up. His head and his hair were white like wool. So now it's, it's getting to how his, his hair was and how it, the, uh, the hairs on his face was. He said his hair was white like wool. Who got woolly hair on the earth? Wooly, like sheep. Who got sheep texture to her? Like a pig can't go through it. A comb can't go through it. What they say, what they call a nappy. Who got that type of hair? Us. Right. Right? He said hair like wool. Right? Read on. So he got white woolly hair. Right? But when we see this image, he never got no white woolly hair. It's stringy, long, blind. Right? So now we bringing out what the Bible truly saying, right? And we gonna see who 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 lying and who telling the truth. Is these pastors out here telling the truth, or they just trying to they trying to run your pockets? They trying to run your pockets, right? Bring it up. And it's white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. But fiery eyes, as a flame of fire. Hey, brother, come up here, this man. See that? Everybody don't care about this, all right? But hey, if you continue to walk like that, hey, you gonna continue to be destroyed in the mind, all right? You gotta, you gotta uh, seek knowledge, all right? Seek the Most High, not seek this world. Or paint it out. So he said his head and his hairs are white like wool, and his eyes are the flame of fire, all right? His eyes not fiery red, baby blue. Some like he like he's some nice guy that just wanna love you. No matter what you do, that's what they tell you. Right? Keep going. And his feet, like it to fine bread. His feet, like what? Like it to fine bread. Color is brass. Like bronze. Like a like a penny. Well, what color is that? Is it that color? Look at your look at your hand. Would that be close to bronze? So he said his feet like fine brass, but how dark was it? As if they burned in a furnace. As if he what? As if they burned in a furnace. So dark it like he got like he was burned in a furnace, All right? And keep going. And his voice, as the sound of many waters. He was a loud, loud person. Don't they say our people loud, right? That we get loud and they get they, they think we we think we fighting or something. We just we just we just, this is how we communicate. This is how our voice is. All right, they say it's, they got this, uh, they got this uh, saying for the black woman, a loud black woman, right? But hey, this is how Christ actually looked. He had white woolly hair, fiery eyes, and he was dark skinned with a loud voice, right? And that's our people, right? So who is this guy that you said was God? That you, that the, that the pastor deceived and made you think this was God? Who is this guy? Give me a, a myth, right? But this is actually a real man named Cedric Borgia, right? They painted him during the Renaissance era, right? Trying to cover up the faces of the true people of the Bible, right? Give me uh, Romans 1 and 25. See that? That's not what Christ looked like. He didn't look like that. No! <laughs> no! That's the damn devil. Right? And if you was to continue to walk, if you didn't come up here, hey, it's a lot of people, hey, that brother that went past, he probably think that's what God looked like. But now we're giving the truth, and that's not what he looked like. And you in, a, and you, in your mind, you mentally bow down to him because you think they God like. Right? You, because why does every, every nation got their own God, right, that look like them? Why are we serving a white God? Right, that's what they taught us. Right, but that's not the truth. Bring it out. It's the book of Romans, 
chapter 1, verse 25. Bring it out! Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Yeah, what? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? He said, who changed the truth of God into a lie? That made you to believe that Christ was a, a white man, right? Like that guy that just walked past. Like that was your Lord and Savior, right? Who changed the truth of God into a lie and did what? Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature? And did what? And worshiped and served the creature. And serving the creature rather than what? More than the creator. More than the creator, right? But the Lord wants you to serve him, right? How do you serve the Lord? How do you fear the Lord? How do you show the most high that you fear him? Give me the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. We're going to show you, brother. Right, give me uh, give me to the 33 and verse 17 real quick. I want that first. Yeah, you got the pocket right now? Kyle. Uh, uh, 33 and 17. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 33, verse 17. Yeah. Consider that I be not, <clears throat> this is Consider that I labor, not for myself only. I said, don't consider that I labor for myself only. We're not just out here for our own self, right? But what? But for all them that seek learning. But for them that seek learning, right? And you standing up here because you want to understand something. Right, you want to know. You want to know more about God, right? You want to know more about who you actually are and what you got to be doing, right? So we out here for those that seek learning, right? So bring it up. The Book of Psalms, chapter one, eleven, verse ten. Bring it up. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, right? So when you start to fear the Lord, and the Lord's going to start to give you the wisdom, but not the wisdom of this world, right? Where you go to damn. You go to the damn uh, the HBCUs and the Ivy League colleges and the damn universities, right? And you get your damn bachelor's degree. That's not the wisdom the Lord talking about. All right, read on. A good understanding have all they that do his commandment. Uh, they do their own thing. That do his commandment. A good understanding is them that keep his commandments, right? See that? Hey, sister. See that? People smell with madness, man. See that? The people that know it not the law are curse. Right? Hey sister. Come on the words of the Lord. See that? Hey, read that again, read that again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding how she was dealing with Esau. She was, she was talking to Esau. See that? Read that. A good understanding of all things that do his commandments. If you keep these commandments, you will have understanding. You will understand that that man, your enemy, right? Can't deal with him. How you doing, sister? Nah, si nah sister. We got the words of the Lord for you. What's your name? Hey sister, you gotta you gotta sober up and, and get off the drugs. Then you ask the most ask the most high. I said I say God or Jesus. See that? Give me give me give me Deuteronomy twenty eight. Give me Deuteronomy twenty eight twenty eight. Give me Deuteronomy twenty eight and twenty eight. All right? Cause our people that don't know the law is cursed. Like I just, didn't I just speak that up? Strong out on drugs. Right? Hey, this is our people, man. Right? Because they don't have no understanding. They don't have no understanding of the Lord that they gotta keep their, keep his commandments. Right? Bring it up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. The yeah. Lord shall smite thee with madness. Say what? The Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Lord smite our people with madness. Right? Why? Because of our disobedience. Right? Now you're smitten with madness. You don't want to serve me. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you do your own thing right, and get destroyed. You get ran by Satan, right? That's how our people are walking right now. We don't. And blindness. And blindness, right? And what else? And astonishment of heart. And, uh, verse twenty nine. 
and thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind groping in darkness. That's how people is, right? She want damn twenty dollars so she can, God knows what, right? We don't. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Yeah, what? And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Yeah, well, and how is how is that twenty dollars gonna make her prosper? It's not, right? Cause that's how our people is, man. We not we not prospering, man. Right? Because we smitten with madness, right? We disobedient, right? Stiff neck. We you don't. Know? And thou shalt be only oppressed. Said what? And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. Our people are oppressed and spoiled, right? That's right. But if we give me uh give me the around between uh twenty eight and forty five, right? And why do you think these things happening to us? Disobeying the commandments, right? I'll pray, read that. Book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 40, verse 45. Bring it out! Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, these, these things will overtake us until we're destroyed, right? All these things will come to pass to now be calling ourselves black, African American. Asking for twenty dollars so you can go freak off in the in the night, right? That's 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 why these things is happening. Are right, we know The voice of the Lord thy God to keep His commandments and His statutes. Keep His what? To keep His commandments and His statutes. For the keep His commandments, right? Which is what He told us to do, right? Which is our heritage, right? Which is our, the way is we're supposed to walk amongst all the other nations. Right? This is how we was gonna show that we was different from all these other people. That's right. Right? By keeping these commandments. That's right. We we just like them when we don't, when we don't keep the commandments. Right? They got total control of us, right, when we not keeping uh God's word. Right? And where she's at is exactly where they want us at. Destroyed. That's right. That's right. Right? Read on. To keep his commandments and his statues which he commanded thee. You gotta keep the commandments which he commanded us. Right? Give me um give me uh what I want. So what was the commandments the brother brought up? You know what food we can't eat? Right? Right? Give me uh give me Genesis one and twenty nine real quick. No, nope, this is not Christianity. This is the truth of the Bible. Right? We're not Christians. We Israelites. God shows the people. The same thing they say in the Quran. Right? God shows the people are the Israelites. Right? Do you believe that? I don't know what Israelite means. Israelite is God's chosen people. The descendant of is the man named Israel. That's right. No, not Jewish. No, 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 not no Jewish. Jewish is a religion, right? The people with white men that converted to to wanting to be Jews, right? To to cover up who the real Jews is, right? But the Lord is waking up who the real Jews is, which is the Israelites. That's right. right. But give me that precept. Yeah. Look at Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-nine. We out. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. Every what? Every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a the fruit of tree yielding seed. To you it, it shall be for meat. What is the uh, what is the uh, uh, herbs for? To you it shall be for meat. Uh, the smoke. To you it shall be for meat. Hold it up in a uh, in a backwood. To you it shall be for meat. Right. It's for meat. These herbs wasn't meant to be smoked, smoked, brother. I, I seen, I, I had to get on you because I seen it in your pocket. You asking for the light. Hey, it was meant to be for me, not to be smoking. Because when you smoking and you cough, why are you coughing? Yeah, the smoke not supposed to be in there. Your lungs rejecting it, right? The Lord said you got to be sober, right? On the physical level and uh, in a uh, uh, spiritual level, right? Because the adversaries out here that trying to trying to get you, man, right? So we gotta be sober, right? And I know, I know what I'm saying I dealt with it too before I understood who I was, right? But once you actually had a true fear of the Lord, 
right? And you're going you gonna to put all those down, right? Because you know that, hey, the Lord's dealing with you, right? You know what's coming for our people, right? You know what's coming for our people? What's coming for our people? They're actually hearkening unto the word. They actually start following God. Are we going to always be in these conditions where we got to ask people for $20 so we can... You know what I'm saying? Are we always going to be at the bottom of society? Hey, it's, you know, it's hope for our people, man. Right? But that's what we are here to do. Give our people hope. Right? Because they think this life. They get a couple... You know what I'm saying? They, they stack up a couple PTO. Now they can go on vacation for two weeks. That's not life. Right? Hey, the, the life is right here in this. Give me uh, give me John 6 and verse 63. Give me John 6 and verse 63. Right, because this is the this is life right here, man. Right? We got something coming. We got something coming. The Lord has something in store for our people. Right? You got a question? Alright, this time I said time told me maybe I'll speak. For real? See that? See that? That's the most high, man. That's the that's the that's the most high coming down and supping with you and giving you the understanding. All right, bring it up. This is the book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profit nothing. It is the spirit that quickened it. Quicken me, make alive. Right? The spirit, I mean uh the, the spirit is gonna make you alive, but the flesh it don't profit you nothing. Right? You get high, you smoke, you get high for about what? An hour. Depending on what type of weed, I don't know what type of weed they got now, right? When you get high for about an hour, hour and a half, right? And you just you just felt good for the moment, right? And that's what the addiction come in because you gotta feel that feeling again, right? Because it's just, it's the flesh, right? But it don't profit you nothing. But what? The words that I speak unto, unto you. What? The words that I speak unto you. The words that he speak unto you, right? Which is in this Bible right here, right? That's how the Lord speak to you. It's not like Christianity say where they hear a voice in their head. It's a, it's a soft voice. That's not that's 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 not what that's not what the Bible is talking about, right? The words of the Lord is right here, right? You gotta open up the book and read. It's right here, right? Read on. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. They are what? They are spirit. They are spirit or whatever. And they are life. They are life, right? Because when you hearken unto these words, right? Yeah, you gonna get the salvation. Right? And you're gonna get you're gonna get to see the kingdom, right? Which is gonna be on earth. Not like Christianity says gonna be in the damn sky. Right? This the white man kingdom right now. But our kingdom coming soon, which is when we're gonna be ruling. But only those that hearken unto the Lord is gonna get those things, right? Give me um damn what I wanna uh give me uh give me Isaiah 14 and 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. This is, hey, brother, this is what's coming for our people, right? This is in the Bible. Your Christian pastor is not going to bring this out. Granny not going to bring this out. Hey, but we're going to bring it out, right? Because it's thus said the Lord, right? Bring it out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. He's going to choose everybody in the whole wide world. And will yet, yet choose Israel. He's going to choose Israel, you know? And set them in their own land. He's going to stay in America. And set them in their own land. Set us in our own land, right, you know? And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers, right, which is these other nations, they're going to be joined with, with us. But let's see what condition they're going to be in when they're with us. We think we're going to be equal. In the kingdom, just this hand in hand with the white man in the kingdom, right? Because that's what Christianity says. They wanna, they wanna bring the white man with them. We gonna come by y'all in the kingdom together. That's not the Bible, right? We gonna bring it out, bring it out. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, cleave to our people, you know. And the people shall take them. Hey, we gonna take them, right? Who took us? Didn't they take us? Hey, we gonna take them, you know? And bring them to their place. We gonna bring them to our place. Just like how they took us and brought us to their place. Right, it wasn't even their place, but you know what I'm saying? You get the gist, you know what I'm saying? They brought us to their place, you know? 
And the house of Israel shall possess them. The house of Israel gonna do what? And the house of Israel shall possess them. Possession. To keep, to own, right? So he said, we gonna possess them. We don't, we don't. Possess them in the land of the Lord. Land of the Lord, right? Which is the kingdom, we don't. For servants and handmen. What? For servants and handmen. That sound like the, uh, slavery. He said, we gonna possess them for servants and handmaids. All right, we don't. And they shall take them captives. Under what? And they shall take them captives. Whose captives they were. And we're going to take them captives whose captives we were. That's the get back. All right? We don't. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Do what? And they shall rule over their oppressors. Because that's the only thing that's going to be just. Because our people out here fighting for equal rights, yeah. fighting to get the damn, uh, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, reparations, right? That's still not going to pay back. What is the sign? The blood, sweat, and tears of our people, man. What that little money gonna do compared to the baby getting uh, fed the alligators, right? Our people getting hung. You got a damn, what's this like? How old you think this baby is right here in the field? Well, like two, three? A three-year-old baby picking cotton from sun, from sun up to sundown, right? How the, how is money, you selling out if you take money and just, you just cast this behind your back. That's basically what our people gonna say. You give us the money, we just gonna cast it behind our, hey brother. You drop some right here. And take a fly while you uh you got somebody got a fly. Uh, and we are Israelites, we Israelites according to the Bible. God chose the people. You gotta repent and keep the commandments, gang. Alright, gang. Right? But what you know what I'm saying? They take the little money, they take the reparations, they basically saying, look, they basically saying, and we we'll take the money and we'll forget all about this. You know what I'm saying? That's what our people sell. They they want the money to sell out, right? And what, what what are people gonna do with the money? Imagine that lady get her get her the, the lady that came up here and asked for twenty dollars get her damn uh reparation. It's gonna kill her. She gonna OD. Right? So that money not gonna that money not gonna do nothing for us, right? And we want and we want vengeance, right? We want payback. We want Shalom. We want them to go into captivity how we went into captivity. Right? Don't you think that's justice, brother? How that sound? That ain't justice. But it's not gonna be like that though. Not like that. Not like having kids in the field and you know what I'm saying? Not like not raping men, but breaking men. That's not it's not gonna be like that. It's gonna be in righteousness. Right? It's gonna be in the ways of the Lord. Right? We don't and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord shall give thee rest. He said he's gonna give us what? Shall give thee rest. Hey brother, you work right, you working? And the Lord said we're gonna get rest. How does vacation sound every day? Hey, that's the kingdom. Vacate hey, you don't have to work no more. Alright, we don't shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Give us rest from what? Shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Our yeah, people sorrow for his hell. Right? Walk around with our head down. Damn, I'm gonna pay these bills, man. Damn. Damn, that man, man just got shot. Right? Hey, that's, that's our people, man. Sorrowful. Right? But we still want to love everybody. Right? We don't. And from thy fear. And from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. Now rest from the hard bondage where we was made to serve. Right? So that's what's coming for our people. Right, that's the justice that's coming for our people. Right, we're not gonna always be in these conditions that we're in forever, right? But the Lord's only choosing certain people. Hey, the Lord is choosing you, brother. He sent you back up here to hear these words. He said, man's goings are the Lord, right? Hey, y'all got a minute to hear the words of the Lord? Two minutes? They got two minutes for the word? Come on, sister, he says you do. You get, the, you, you get your flyer? All right, King, what position, what position you play? Left guard, all right, all right, all right. Uh, group, yeah, group four, 20, 20, oh, you start at 24. <laughs> this is the book of Baruch, chapter four. 
verse 24. Like as now, the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. So shall they, so shall they see shortly your salvation. So they seen our uh, captivity. All these other nations seen that we was captive, right? But they didn't say restore all to us, right? They didn't want to help us and build us up, right? Because they don't want us to get over them, right? Because when we get over them, they go, hey, they know it's over with, right? So they seen our captivity, but shortly they're going to see our salvation, right? Shortly they're going to see us get the hell up out of here, right? They're going to see that the Lord is only dealing with the 12 tribes of Israel, right? He's not dealing with the whole wide world, right? Read on. So shall they see shortly your salvation from our God, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that is come upon you. And the Lord says, suffer patiently these things. Right? Suffer patiently the captivity. Suffer patiently you having to go to work every damn day to pay your bills, to pay your rent. Right? He says, suffer patiently these things. For what? My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has that is come upon you from God. For thy enemy hath persecuted thee. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction. You said what? But shortly thou shalt see his destruction. We're gonna see an Esau? But shortly thou shalt see his destruction. Soon we're gonna see the destruction right, of Babylon the Great. Soon we're gonna see the destruction of St. Louis. Right? Soon we're gonna see the destruction of the world, man. Alright, read on. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction. And shall tread and, and shall try it upon his neck. We're gonna tread upon that neck. Right, meaning we're gonna be over them, man. Right? Meaning we're gonna we're gonna be calling the shots. Right? We you gonna have to do what we say, right? That's that's the that's uh the damn role switching, right? That's us being on top. But bring that out. The book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Bring it out! Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. Book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 7. No! There be there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tent I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to, to see the fall of his enemy. You said what? He that, that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Person, he beautified these things. What's going on, brother? What's going on? Right, y'all be Israelites, right? When he said, hey, him that see, read it again from the top. So, Rack 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. The Lord said he judged in his heart to be happy, you know? And the tent I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. That's a happy thing to see the fall of your enemies. Right, and we're seeing the fall of Esau right now. That's right. right. His kingdom is crumbling from the inside out. People rot, uh, 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 bomb rushing the damn Capitol building. Right, you got famines and uh, uproars and tumults and earthquakes. Right, uh, 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 inflation and famine and war going on. Right, Esau, don't, Esau is falling, and, and I, I see more Esau in the damn uh, streets asking for money on the side of the road now than our people. Right? You a loser in this kingdom, you're gonna be a loser in the next. Two time a two-time loser, like the brother said. <laughs> a two-time loser. Right? And it's your kingdom, man. You gotta live it up. Right? You get to see the people and, and make some money. Right? Esau gotta know how to play his role. He gotta know how to play his role in this thing. Right? Hey, soon we're gonna see his destruction. Right? Read the uh he, nah, you drop that. He said to see the fall of our enemies. And so we waiting for these things. He said the, uh, the saints are patiently waiting to see these enemies fall, man. Let me bring it up. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end. He said he that overcometh and keepeth his works, right? And what you got to overcome? You got to overcome these tribulations, right? You got to overcome the damn lust. 
and you gotta overcome the damn weed demon that people be dealing with, right? You gotta overcome the envy and strife, right? You gotta overcome these things, right? And, and once you overcome, what you gonna get? To him will I give power over the nation. Right, you're, gonna, you're gonna be equal with all the nations. To him will I give power over the nation. Yeah, the Lord's gonna give us power over the nations, right? Because the Lord's gonna set up that 144, that one third, right, to be over all these other nations, right? To rule, right? To rule over. Right, we don't try to come back to do these things. Now give me uh Ezekiel chapter 25 and verse number 14, right? So you gotta wait on the hey brother, you know about the Lord? What you know about the Lord? I know he lies. Is who is this guy right here? Is this the Lord? Hey brother. It's closed, brother. They closed. Yeah. Brother, look, he don't even know where he's going. Alright? Lost. Alright? Give me that real quick. Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. He's gonna lay his vengeance upon Edom. Right? Now what's your nationality? Esau finished. Right? He gonna lay his he gonna lay his vengeance upon Edom, you know? By the hand of my people Israel. Hey. Hey, the, the curses are reversing. Now they don't know their nationality. Alright? This place is finished, man. It's falling. Hurry right, on. And they shall do and eat them according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, save the Lord God. See, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna let us do those things. But first, we gotta wait on the Lord. First, we gotta uh, suffer patiently the wrath that's come upon us. Right? And then we'll be able to do these things. Right? You can't just jump out there and just do it, right? Try to knock off Esau at your damn job when he get off, right? Because he pissed you off. He told you to pick up the boxes and he didn't want to do it. Right? He tried to knock you to my to my son Esau's the enemy, so I got to kick. That's off, man. And that's what they think we're doing when they say we, we, we hate the so-called white man. No, we waiting on the Lord to do these things, right? He's already written in prophecy, right? So uh, give me, um, because when he come back, what are you going to Give me Isaiah 66 real quick. Hey brother, you gonna stop this time? Don't get this knowledge, man. I can read. You can read? What you read? This is bad. <laughs> 66 and uh, uh, 15. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. No. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his reproof with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord play with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree, in the midst of eating swine flesh, and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together. Right, so the Lord is coming back to kill all those that sin, right? You want to go freak off, right? You want to break God's laws by right? eating pork, right? Eating abominations, right? You hating your brother, right? You don't you don't keep the Sabbath, right? You carrying damn idols, right? And the Lord is going to destroy you. And look at this, this is, look at this idol walking down the street. This is madness. Carrying idols out here. Right? Give me uh give me uh um, that's, that's the same Edomite that's talking about. Same Edomite that's speaking for our people, right? Give me uh give me Isaiah uh Slacky. give me um Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 6. Cause our people they, they got Eve helping them. What's up with her dealing with Eve, man? Madness. Give me that real quick. Ezekiel 14 and verse 6. Book of Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 6. Bring it out! Therefore, say unto the house of Israel. Say unto who? Say unto the house of Israel. Speak unto the house of Israel, we don't. Thus saith the Lord God, repent. Just what? Repent. You gotta repent, right? You gotta put down your damn idols, right? And smash it into pieces. And set it on fire, we don't. And turn yourselves from your idols. What? And turn yourselves from your idols. Your sister got to turn herself from the idols, right? You packing it in the car, right? Make sure it don't get hurt. You probably put a damn seatbelt on it, right? You worshiping it, right? We don't. 
and turn away your faces from all your abominations. You turn your face from your abominations, right? But all people gotta repent. Give me uh, Mark, uh, Mark chapter one verse fifteen. Come. Put down them damn idols. Serving damn uh uh. uh I don't even know what kind of God that was. That yeah. was madness. <laughs> this is the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 15. Bring it out. It's the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. What's at hand? And the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of the Most High is at hand. You know? And he's really speaking to our people, right? Because you got a chance to repent, right? You got a chance to change and turn away from your idols, right? Put down your damn abominations. Right, put down your hate in your heart for your people, right, and turn back to the Lord, right? He said the kingdom is at hand. So, hey, the kingdom is for you. And the Lord said he gave you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, right? He gave you the knowledge how to get the kingdom. We don't. Repent ye. What? Repent ye. People got to repent. I mean, they got to convert and turn back to the Lord, we don't. And believe the gospel. And believe the gospel because this gospel was written for our people. Right? It was written for us to get the salvation. It was written for us. And it was written that we got the law. Right? It was written for us that uh, uh, the Lord was going to come back to save us. Right? But now we got to come back to him by keeping his commandments and having faith. Not believing in this damn world and following their ways. Mingled amongst these damn heathen. Right? Uh, what you want? I had you heard something. Give me a... Uh, give me... Where I want to go. Give me a... Uh, give me a... Uh, Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. Let's go. Actually, no. Give me. Go to group. Go to three. Three and ten. Come. No, sorry, nine. The book of Baruch, chapter three, verse nine. Bring it out. Here, Israel, the commandments of life. What people got to do? Here, Israel, the commandments of life. Brother, you got to hear the commandments of life. All right? Listen to, the, listen to the words of the Lord. We know about, we know about Melchizedek. Yeah, we know about Esau. Right? And we, and we, 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 uh, we, we sell it. See that? Bring it, bring it up. Yeah, Israelite reading the Quran, right? Serving Yah uh, Yahweh. Bring it up. Verse nine. Hear Israel, the commandments of life. Our people gotta hear the commandments of life, right? And we wouldn't be uh, smitten with madness, right? Come in the words of the Lord, sister. Oh, uh, pray. Come on, sister. Come, come learn who you are. Your pastor not gonna teach you this at church tomorrow, right? Come hear the truth of the Bible. What your pastor is hiding from you, right? You go to church. You do. How many? Uh, how many? Uh, how many scriptures your pastor bring out at, at every uh, service? Have you ever asked any questions to your pastor? What kind of questions you ask? Them? Nah. Uh, give me. Uh, give me. Give me Jeremiah twenty three and one. And no, nah. No, pur no purple team. We, we with the most high. The Israelites. Yeah. God's chosen people. Not a religion. Not just a good people. Give me, uh, give me Matthew chapter 3 and verse 11. Give me Matthew chapter 3 and verse 11. Give me, uh, give me, uh, 1 Peter. Give me 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 21. Give me, uh, Give me, give me Psalms 19 and verse 7. And give me uh, Acts chapter 19 and verse 1. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Is that what? I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Right, John said, I indeed baptize you with water. Right? Because you know when John came, he was baptizing people in the water, in the Jordan, right? Right, he said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, read on. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, 
poo shoes I am not worthy to bear. So John said it's somebody that's coming after me. Who is it? Who is coming after uh, John the Baptist? Jesus, right? You know? He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. He said he was going to baptize him with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So John said, I'll baptize you with water, but the one that come after me, he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. What's fire, what's the fire that he's, that he's talking about? All right, read, uh, give me that. We're gonna see what the fire is according to the uh, to the words of the Lord, right? What did what, what did Christ come to uh, uh, baptize the people with? Book of Jeremiah, chapter twenty three, verse twenty nine. Is not my word like as a fire? Said, not his word like what? Is not my word like as a fire? Is not my word like as a fire? Right? So the words that the Lord spoke, that was gonna baptize you, and the Lord said you clean through the words which I have spoken unto you in John, right? So it's not the water that cleans you. Give me First Peter chapter th three and verse twenty-one real quick. Because why do people have to get baptized three times? It's people that do it. I heard people. I heard people that got baptized three times. All right. And what? It, check this out. Let me get First Peter. Your sins are washed away, but can you continue to sin? Right? I mean, so you all believe there's people that's perfect in the Bible? Give me Job, chapter, give me Job 1. Yeah, give me Job, give me Job 1. We get, we, hold up. Okay, give me Job 1 real quick. Job was perfect. Job was perfect. Well, hold on, let me bring this up. Let me, give me that first Peter. First Peter 1 and 20, uh, 3 and 21. Look at first Peter. Chapter 3. Listen to this, listen to this real quick. Verse 21. The light figure. I was, you were talking about, uh, you know, get baptized in water, but that baptism, but that John said that he did with water, but Christ he did with the fire, and we just read that the fire is the word, right? So it's not the water that saves you, because the people that go in the water, they get dumped. Yeah, but we breaking down what baptism truly is. It's not you going to water, because if you don't, you can go in the water and don't truly receive the words of the Lord. And then you still gonna be the same person. You gotta truly receive what the what the Lord is saying. Exactly, which is the wisdom of the most high. What's tongues? What, what, what's tongues though? No, I'm asking, what's tongues? Can you speak in tongues? Can you speak in tongues? What, what, do you know? Do you know what it, you know? Do you know what you're saying when you're speaking in tongues? Well, can I show you something real quick on tongues? Give me Acts two. No, it's, it's about what the Lord said. I'm not speaking my own word. I'm speaking what's it. No, but tongues is not. Can I show you what tongues is according to the Bible? It's not just speaking. Hold on, stay right here, real quick, sister. See that they can't. Why you don't want to hear the words of the Lord? You are heard more important than the words of the Lord? But check, let me bring it up. All right, bring it up. Uh, X two in. Bless you too, sister. She got, hey, you got to get out the church though. Your pastor has been lying. This the church. This the church right here. You got to put. See, that Christianity a drug, man. Right? Man. Christianity got our people strung out. Real. Right, bring it up. Yeah, drunk. Right? Just staggering in all her ways. Uh, two and... Uh, started, uh, started four. Man, I want to bring... Man. 
Acts 2, uh, chapter 2, verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues. Began to speak with what? And began to speak with other tongues. Uh, was it sh Shabana Dabana? <laughs> and to, began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. What? Out of every nation under heaven. You got Jews coming to Pentecost, right, coming to Jerusalem, out of every nation under heaven. Read on. Now, when this was, when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded. Because that every man heard them speak in his own language. In his own what? In his own language. Jibba -jibba. In his own language. He heard them speak in their own language. Because you got Jews from every nation under heaven, right? And he heard the, he heard they heard the uh, apostles speaking in their language so they could understand, right? It's not damn jibba jabba with something you can't even understand. So I asked him, can you understand what you said? He said, no. Well, you know what they're gonna say? You know what they're gonna say? It's between me and God. <laughs> this is madness, man. <laughs> right? Girl, Tongues is a, just another language. If I say, oh, hombre blanco, es el diablo, I'm speaking in the tongue. Only those that understand gonna be able to understand, right? Which is which is Issachar, all right? Yeah, man. Give me the proverbs, man. Attention got to you. All right, she had to go. <laughs> yeah, because... You know what I said? She got baptized, but she didn't keep it. Just like she don't got no understanding. Like I brought out to the brother. You ain't going to get the understanding if you keep the commandments. Give me that real quick. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. She probably thought this was, she probably thought this was God. This white man right here. Probably thought it was God. All right? Where are you bringing that out? The wicked flee. The what? The wicked flee. The wicked flee. Right? Because they don't want to deal with the words of the Lord. Right? Anything in this world is not is not more important than what the uh, words of the Lord gotta say. Bring it up. The wicked flee, but no man pursueth. But the righteous. But the what? But the righteous. But the righteous, which is one that those that's keeping the law. Right? Read on. A bold as a lion. Bold as a lion. Right? So hey, we up here bold, right? Speaking this truth, man. Right. right? We not gonna we not gonna let nobody come up here and, and make us flee and pack. We gonna pack all the pack all the signs up and go home, right? Right. We gonna contend like the brother said. We gonna contend for the faith, right? We gonna we gonna uh, 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 bring out any uh, answer that you uh, that you ask. That's right. But the sister didn't really have no answers. She's speaking what her pastor told her, and the pastor speaking what the white man taught her in these damn schools, right? Teaching them how to damn hold out your people and pimp them and uh, uh, get your uh, get in your pockets, man. Right, but give me uh, give me let me get a couple more. Give me uh, give me Jeremiah chapter four verse seven. Give me uh, Jeremiah fifty one and verse eight. Uh, yeah, man, I just about to wake up. I got you. All right, uh, what that was last. Jeremiah chapter four verse seven. The lion is come up from the thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. On his way? The destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. Yeah, I, thought, I thought God would save all the Gentiles. The destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. The Lord said the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way, right? Which is talking about Christ, right? That's right. Not this so-called white man, right? He has white woolly hair, dark skin, right? And, uh, and uh, fiery eyes, right? He's coming to destroy the Gentiles. Right? What do you think these, these other nations gonna be when they see a dark skinned man come to destroy him? Right? They might try to they might try to uh, 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 speak down on uh, Christ and try to put him in captivity, right? Because it's a dark skinned man. Right? That's madness. Right? Somebody he yeah. <laughs> somebody you fit the description. Somebody you look like somebody <laughs> that's madness, man. Right, but the Lord gonna come and destroy, man. Right, he's not coming back to play with these heathen, man. Right, I wanna play with our people that don't want to hearken unto him. Right, they want to follow the uh, pork chop pastor. Right, it's gonna lead them in a the ditch. Right, where they at? Now finish that out. He is going forth from his place to make thy land desolate. What? 
to make thy land desolate. The land's gonna be desolate, right? And you understanding that this place gonna get destroyed, which they don't because the past is not bringing out prophecy, right? Which is the spirit of Yahweh Shah, right? You understand that these things don't happen, and you gotta, you gotta uh, uh, stop following the Lord's commandments, right? Stop following His word, right? You know? And the cities shall be way, shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. Be laid waste without an inhabitant. Right? Only those that's gonna survive is those that was uh, uh, truly in the faith, right? Truly understanding who they are. Then you can get the salvation. Oh, you can drop that. Give me this. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 8. Bring it out. Babylon is suddenly false. Say what? Babylon is suddenly false. Say again? Babylon is suddenly false. Babylon is suddenly falling. And what? And destroyed. And what? Destroy. And what? And destroy. Come here, Sharon. 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 Come here, S